presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Mike in Southern California. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, Tom, nice to talk to you again. And I have to start out and first tell you, I love this trading room. This thing is great. This app, it works great. And uh, getting all the information, it, you're like instantly there. No delay, nothing. That's I know. Great. I Listen, Thank I you appreciate again. your growling problem with us. Your channel is in my pocket all day long. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, man. You Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. If an agreement doesn't work, change the agreement, create a new one, and use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 598, NASDAQ is up 172, S&P is up 66, gold contract down $2.20, trading at 1703 an ounce. We have silver up 38 cents, $18.61 an ounce. Light sweet crude up to 13. $97.91 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, up four ticks, trading 118.20. The 30-year up 14 at 140 flat, and King Dollar. King Dollar's down 442 ticks, trading at a price point of 108.102. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, We've had a couple of days of testing those lows. Doesn't have the force to basically blow them away. Uh, if we go back just to Wednesday, what you're going to see, uh, Wednesday we came down, you turned around again, you came down with 84 million shares. You were basically going into that uh, swing point of 112. Yesterday we come down with 89 shares, 89 million going into the same deal. Now the real question is going to be here. You know, what kind of volume we're going to come in? But it's option expiration, folks. You're going to have volume. That's the bottom line. So you're already going at the 62 million. We've already got 56. So on a normal day, that would bang out about 66. I expect what you're going to do is about 90, 100 million shares. And that's saying, guess what? Higher prices are coming at us. NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX. You get the same setup inside the NDX. Bottom line inside the NDX, you, we came down on Wednesday and you had 73 million shares, you were coming into 79, and then yesterday you had 63 coming to 79. Bottom line today, now that you can see the correlation, uh, the NASDAQ can leave you that down and lead you up. And what's going on here, you get 50 million shares and you come in into 55, and the NASDAQ's gonna do about 80 and 90 also. So my take is that the Qs are gonna make this run up to about uh, at least 314. That's the swing that I'm looking at that I expect, uh, you know, this baby's gonna go. Now the real kicker is gonna be here, of course, um, you know, do you have volume coming into it? Because if, if you have volume coming into it, the whole different dynamics are gonna start taking place. I expect volume today. The real question is, can you get follow through with volume? Gold, gold contract, uh, bottom line, testing the lows of Yesterday, uh, can't get out of its way. Um, you know, bottom line, you get a contraction of volume. It's 233, uh, uh, you know, 233,000 against 168 today. And good old King Dollar. We take a look at King Dollar. What you're going to see with King Dollar is you just backed off a bit, and just a bit of a back off uh, is pretty cool what, what it does to the marketplace. I mean, uh, the, the correlation out here is about as direct as you can get uh, in a monster way. So the King Dollar, yesterday we reached a high out here of uh, 109, 294. Uh, he's down 40, 444 ticks out here today. And, you know, the market's getting some relief. There's no doubt about that. The real question's got to be, um, are we going to get follow through? My, my take is that uh, we're going to run right into the close. If we go to, well, let's go look at the E-mini first anyway. So we look at the E-mini. It's trying to blow out highs right now. So this is going to get interesting. This last... Uh, 50 minutes of trading. 
So let's pull this back. There we go. Okay. So you can see we've been laying at these highs now since uh, 11 o'clock this morning. No, 1 o'clock rather. No, 11 o'clock. And bottom line, we'll see whether it's going to blow them away. You know, we were talking about the aspect that we had that ABC structure when we closed out the last night. And the bottom line is that that was there in spades. Now, it was, what also happened here is that you have a larger ABC structure. What was this one? 3811. Let me see this one. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, this is a 90 point A to B. That gets you 3870. Look at this. So this is so cool, man. And, and we hit 38.63. So, so when you're looking at this, you can see, I mean, this is a nice ABC. And it blew it right away. I mean, you had, you had the one from last night. This morning, bottom line, you blew another B point away. You missed the bigger ABC here by seven points. Now, what that does is that that sets up when you get 50 minutes left that it's okay. It's going to be easy to take this swing high out. The swing high here on a 10 minute only is 20,000 shares, 20,000 contracts. That's easy to take out in a 10 minute. Let's go look at what this uh, NQ looks like. So do the same type of exercise on the NQs. Pull these back. Okay, so the NQ, that top bar, 12,000 contracts. Last time we were up there. Okay, the NQ is going to need more juice. So, so the first nice bar up here had 12. The one bar had volume of uh, 27. The high right now had volume of 12,000. And we came up to that high 15, 20 minutes ago. You only had half that amount. So you're building cars. That's what, that's what you're doing. We certainly, you know, well, that, that little swing down there had some volume too. But then it tested it. Yeah, it did. So, so this is going to try to push higher into the close. And the real kicker is going to be, do you get another ABC structure um, up into that level? Because what, do, what you're going to have, you know, bottom line is uh, you have a huge amount uh, of options that are expiring. That always puts some uh, nice volume and juice into the marketplace. The cool thing here, if you are bullish at all, folks, is that when you get an option expiration, and you have volume that comes in. What I've found is that, guess what? I mean, I don't care what market you're in. If you're in, market, in this case, we're in a market that was going down, wants to go down, you get volume on option expiration, you're going up, man, you're going up. Just the opposite, you have markets that have been up, and if you get option expiration or rebalancing, or, and you get the volume on the way down, guess what, man? That's where it's going. So um, that's, that's the setup right now. And uh, this market is uh, quite a trader's market. There's, you know, there's no doubt about it. When you can get this 50 to 60 point S&P moves uh, almost every day, well, guess what? All you need is that big fat chunk right in the middle. That's the name of the game. Because the reality is that when it shoots up and or down, it's really been trending like that most of the day. And Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 581. NASDAQ's up 171. S&Ps are up 64. We'll come right back. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help.
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, best of Huey, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow uh, trained up uh, 500. You get the Dow 590. Wow. Oh, that's right. The NASDAQ up 175. The S&P is up 65. So what's been going on? Uh, not much. Just trying to figure out where this real estate market is going. I know. know. So, uh, you know, I did that open house last Sunday, and uh, a lot of people are still interested in buying. Yep. But they're also scared. Okay. That's where I'm getting. Right. You know, they're scared to pull the trigger, and I think they're just kind of waiting to see what happens. Well, wait do you hear this, folks. Tell, tell me what the broker said to you that he told his client. Oh, the one that had a client for my house? Yeah. <laughs> so, so there's a broker. He has a client for my house. Right. She's ready to buy, but uh, he told her that this is not a good time to buy right, right. now. Right. So right. Right. It's like, you could do it right now. Right. He told her no. Right. So... She's so the reason I brought that up, folks, is this, is that, and this was a first time buyer, okay, is that it, it's so intriguing to me that when, you know, things are going up, that we know that the frenzy that was there, do you know oh, what I mean? Yeah. Crazy. And now what has happened is that it's, it's backing off a bit that you can actually get an inspection, you know. Um, get credit back. Get, get credit back, yeah. have some real due diligence, and you have a broker that's saying, you know, no, this is not the time. And my point more than anything, I guess, is that, like when I said to you, when you don't have a house, you have to get in, man. That's the bottom line. And I think that's bad advice. That, I mean, and listen, you could get out another 10, 15%, but if you're looking, we know factually that we need more houses. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's, you know, depending what city you're in, and, St. Pete, we definitely need more houses. In Florida, we need more houses. Tommy did some numbers yesterday. It was pretty cool. There was a, a Bloomberg article, and it had the amount of houses that were in the negative per state. And, oh. and then Bloomberg, I, you know, it, they had it all mapped out. And in Florida, it was 228,000, wow. which is a lot. Do you That's know what I mean? Lot, now, Florida yeah. is, is a big state, okay, so that, that sounds, you know... That's still a lot. That's the bottom that's, line. Yeah, that's a lot. That, of that's still that's yeah. still a lot. And uh, what we what we know is that the rent structure has not got hurt. <laughs> it's not even close. It's going up. Yeah, the, yeah. the rent the rent structure has been going up. Just, you know, so it's going to be it's gonna, the whole thing's going to be intriguing. And you know, the yeah. market. Look at the market. You know, it looks like the Dow 
It only goes up by five, six hundred, or goes down by five, six hundred. Huh? Yeah, that's that's what I see every time I see it. You know, it's so great, folks. You know what he's saying. So, picture this: we have the second floor and the fifth floor, right? The second floor is the TV studios, radio studios, and all that. The fifth floor, it's the the real estate and you know all of this. So, every day I come back upstairs, best will say. So it's up or down today, <laughs> and you know, at the very beginning, it's hard to have. To have people understand, so, so picture. He always says to me, like, I, I don't even get this, man. How does it go up a thousand and down a thousand, right? Because yeah. it's the truth. It's, it's like, okay, it because it, it's bizarre. Okay? Somebody says something and then it's going one way or the other, huh? right? It's kind of crazy. And there and there never is really like wise. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. It's some some of them could be, you know, but most of them is like it's either buying or selling. But I get it, and it just cracks me up, man. <laughs> yes, I, I guess you gotta be in the market to understand it. But yeah, really and you have wild. to be in it for a while because it's you know that whole uh, to me, you know, markets are about the most deviant thing in the world. Can you imagine if real estate was like that? No. <laughs> No, and that's, that's the point of the story that I'm saying, really, because what yeah. happens, folks, is that you got to remember something. Th this is what happens in the market a lot, and this is unfortunately what happens to people even on downdrafts, you know, because, yeah, we might only be down 20%, but some of these tech stocks are down a lot more than that. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? That oh, yeah. people are into. And what happens is that when you come from another field and, you know, you're always making money, yeah. You figure if you're going to work hard, you're going to make money in the market. Yeah. But that's not how it works. No. I remember, I remember getting that lesson. I mean, the, the, the listeners know because I haven't told them in a long time. But, you know, I remember, like, I mean, I don't lose on trades when I have my, you know, I, this, seriously. I mean, I, I'm not talking about the stock market now. I'm talking about whether it's real estate or bonds or uh, uh, something that. Uh, and then I remember when I first time I get in, I just hold it, man. You can work and lose money. I did that. I didn't even. It took me like a year. No, it took me more than a year. It took me a, a couple of years to get that wrapped around my head. Yeah. Because yeah. normally it's just I could normally I'll work anyone. That's what not anyone. But you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I says okay. Yeah. I, I can I can get this man. Do you know what I mean? Because it just you know. But that's not how the stock market works, folks. Okay. Uh, it's not yeah. even close. I mean, uh, you know, I know a lot of people that are that were in it the last few years. Yes. And now they're all, uh, you know, they all pretty much lost all their money. And uh, they're pretty much all out of it. Right. So. Right. And, you know, it's, it's amazing. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is beautiful. We can go to Steve. Let's go to uh, Steve in uh, Alaska. Steve, what's going on? Hi. Good afternoon, my friend. How are you? I'm great. Where about in Alaska are you? Juneau. In Juneau. Awesome, man. Awesome. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I've call, called in before. You have, yeah, anyway, yeah. Yeah, you know, real estate stuff. We're going to turn this into a real estate show for four minutes or five minutes. That li um, that's what we want to do. I think. <laughs> first, first comment is I think that real estate agent that turned a uh, client off did it did the client a dis disservice. Yes. Um, and the various MLSs I've been in, they could be in trouble for that. But anyway. I have a kind of an investment question for you. Yes. And uh, and so I lived in Key West for several years. Yeah. And uh, and I rented a one bedroom, one and a half bath, seven hundred fifteen square foot apartment. Which when I departed in two thousand four, uh, the last rent I paid was thirteen hundred. Okay. In Key West again. Right. So. So I looked it up last night in preparation for your show because I knew Baseport would be on with you. You're awesome. Thank and, you. Uh, and, and so that same apartment today, 715 square foot, is uh, trading or renting for uh, $3,400. I know. I know. So, so my question to you is, uh, if you owned that apartment, would that have been a good investment from from 2004 on an average investment or a Poor investment. No, that would have been a good investment because you get what. Ha there's two different things in Key West that are happening. That you know, it's really hard to build in Key West. Um, so that yeah. that that is on the table. And yeah, I mean, the acceleration has gone up. I mean, right across the country, quite a bit, Steve. Okay, in, in Florida, it's gone exponential. Yeah. You know, and it the thing that's really wild is that even the houses that I'm selling. 
are still cash flowing. The houses, so I'm getting right now 960, the next one will be like 1.1 maybe around there, okay? And they're getting mm -hmm. those $7,000 a month yeah. <laughs> yeah. in rent. So it's like, oh my yeah, God. Like every, yeah. every time I, I check out a mortgage uh, amortization schedule, it blows my mind. I don't know where people get their money. That, listen, we talk about that all the time. We're, I, I, we look out our window, right? And we're right. like a block from the water, and we're right next to a couple high rises. And, you know, every night before I leave, I stand next to Bestford's desk, and we're rapping for 20, 30 minutes before I leave. And it's like, it always comes up. How, how do people pay that kind of money? Stay right there, Steve. We'll come right back. Stay right there, folks. Right. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial's right now at 566. NASDAQ up 171. S&Ps are up 63. Hey, Steve, so how long have you been in Juno? I've uh, been in Juno for uh, four, going on four years. Yep. Nice. And but, so uh, I've been in Alaska a good long time. I left uh, when I left Key West. It was come back to Alaska. Okay. And okay. Uh, I actually have a have a Florida real estate license. And every time I try to talk to wife, and it just hanging hanging this cold uh, winter up, a uh, cold rainy winter, and head back to Florida, she says, "Uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> Remember I seventy <laughs> five? Wow. And, yeah. Uh, so anyway, she's in Tampa herself." Bradenton, actually. Uh, and I right. do miss yeah. it. Boy, that water's beautiful. That clear water beach is something else. You have seen a few of those frames it, on that place. It I is. Fact, I've visited your office. <laughs> Bridget water, and I uh, are going to be hanging down to Clearwater Beach this weekend, man. When I yeah. pack this up, I'm, my feet are going to be in the sand. We'll be in the water until Monday afternoon at 3 o'clock. Yeah, Clearwater <laughs> Beach has changed well, what, a lot. What, what it has. What is story on this 57-foot yacht you have that, uh, you know, Larry told me, you know, that you had a, a really... Big yacht. 
a yacht. <laughs> Larry's pretty funny. We 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 do we do go sail we do go sailing. But the, so the, the story on Larry was went like this, right? So what happens is that I we sail uh, I, I sail a, a good sized boat. Um, Larry, we were taking Larry out on the I get a, like a open power boat also, and so what happened is that he was so PR, he was so paranoid. It was unbelievable actually, but. But he went because yeah. we, we were going out to dinner um, and we had a blast. So I think he, you know, embellishes the deal a bit. You know what I mean? But he was a little scared. <laughs> yeah, he, he said him and water don't mix. Yeah, I know. I know. And that, well, listen, man, he lives in the desert. So, he, you know, he's got a beautiful place out there in, you know, Tucson. So there's no doubt, man. Pretty yeah, cool. I've, I've been there. Yeah. 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 So, hey. So, so are you guys going to, uh, are you going to build some more? Oh, I'm building like crazy, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good, that's good. I mean, people are still moving down there by the... Well, what it is, right? is that Thousands. because of the rent structure, too, I don't have to sell them. Like, the ones, yeah. I, I like building these things new, and then I'm renting them, so then it's pretty cool, man. Do you know what I mean? And the, the, what, what did happen, though, that, so that you can get the, the whole... I've been here for 25 years, but I started buying this land like 12 years ago, man. I, bu I bought like down here when no one was even here. You know what I mean? Because it's like, okay, I've all my life I've always had to kind of make sure I have something because no one will ever hire me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, yeah. well so. when you're an independent thinker, it's... It's hard to keep a job. <laughs> yeah, I'm only kidding a little, but I, 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 but you get the gist of it. It was like, okay, man, I want to stay busy, you know, and you know that's that's how it came down. So I got a nice position, and that makes a huge difference, particularly because the land value went up so much. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, wh where what happens, folks, which is really hard to comprehend, because you know Miami's so big, yeah, and Fort Lauderdale's so big, but actually where we are. And Pinellas County is the most dense county in all of Florida. And it's yeah. because, like, Fort Lauderdale in Miami has a lot more um, big, well, you got the Everglades, you got a lot of, you know, a lot of things over there. Now, it's still more expensive over there than it is here. But when I saw that, how dense it was, I'm saying to myself, okay, there's no more land, man. <laughs> there really is. It, we're surrounded three pots in water, you know what I'm saying? So... That makes it that makes a big difference. So, what's the real estate market up in Alaska and in Juneau like right now? There isn't any place to get. There isn't place to get. Okay, there's, right. It's just as simple as that. I mean, yep. if you're if you, you accept, there's people that have accepted a hundred fifty, hundred seventy five thousand a year jobs come up here and they they can't find a place to live in or at least a place that they'd be willing to live in. Right. They turn down the job and fly back to where they came from. Wow. See, so it's happening across the whole world, man. Are we glad? You know, I, I don't know if you know this, I had three offices up in Alaska. I had two in Anchorage yeah. and I had one up in Fairbanks and that's what I did. I, those oil workers going back and forth, back and forth, whether it's, you know, every two weeks, every six weeks. Um, and I, Steve, I was actually there when that what happened, folks, is that the, the oil market crash went to $10. And right. I, I mean, this is a long time ago now, but it was amazing, you know, watching an economy come to a halt because it was a halt like beyond belief. Um, and that's when Alaska got hit, Tampa got hit, not Tampa, I mean, um, uh, Dallas got hit, California got hit, Boston got hit. I mean, that, that, was, that was quite a correction, man. But. Well, listen, man, we appreciate your call, and get, get us another question next week, will you? I'll try my best, buddy. I hope you guys have a great weekend and be safe out there. Thanks so Thank much, you man. You as well. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. The, uh, let me see. We got a question over here. Oh, I know. There's, there's a question. So there's a question about containers coming from um, China. So I just brought one in. Uh, but here, I'm going to put the Baltic in the BAL. Baltic index up first, and I'll give you the rundown on the, how this is shaking out. So the peak, folks, per container, now this is Shanghai to Tampa, okay? The peak was 14500 Now you can see, I just brought this one in, so it was priced out. I just paid 11500 And just to get to understand, I used to pay $1,750. So... 
but I can see I'm bringing in a bunch more than about, I don't know, about eight weeks. You can see on this right here how much more, it went down probably another 50%, you know, even since then. Yeah, it's going to get down to uh, about 5,000? I, I'd suspect it's going to, yeah. and probably cheaper, because what happens is that the, that is purely a commodity business, man. Okay. You know, and unfortunately, when those rates get that high, then all the shipbuilders build them like crazy. And by the time they build them, then they got more capacity and then well, shipping slows down. Slows the man, right? Yeah. Well. And, and, you know, so then, you know, that whole aspect comes into it. Um, and, and it makes it makes a big difference. You know, do you know what I mean? Um, and then we get a question here. Uh, Tom builds. Oh, Bill Tom's carry us. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, we we'll, might as well break it right here, right? <laughs> We're gonna break it right here, folks. So check this out. This is pretty cool. Thanks, EXK, for uh, putting this in here. So what what I do do, folks, is this. I build a a main house. In fact, you're gonna be. Well, I'll get you the website. Be ready in a couple more weeks, actually. Yeah. So what I do is I build a a, a main house. 1,943 feet, three bedrooms, two baths, one laundry room. And then I build a carriage house. And the, the, the main reasons is that coming out of South Boston, I realized um, coming down here, when prices go up, small places are worth a fortune. Yeah. So I always built a carriage house. In fact, I built more carriage houses than anyone in St. Pete. And what's going on now is that they're changing the zoning and it's going to be an additional 15,000 houses that can have carriage houses. Yeah. So I am going to be building a lot of carriage houses because um, I can build these in my sleep. Yeah. Um, and they're, they're, they're 2338. That's the last one I sold, fourth? Uh, yeah. If you want to see something what I build, folks, if you Google 2338 Fourth Avenue South. Yeah, St. Peter's. St. Pete. Uh, you, you'll get to see, that's the front house. You'll see the carriage house in the back. Now, that carriage house is only a, a studio. Um, I'll be building mostly one bedrooms. One bedrooms is 661 square feet, three bedrooms, no, three garages, uh, laundry room, all block, double insulation, 298 grand. Uh, yeah. Stay right there, folks. Best of night. Come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. TFNN has been your trusted source of analysis for bonds, metals, stocks, commodities, and options for years. And we are happy to announce that we are bringing that same caliber of analysis for the Forex market. Teddy Kekstat has 30 plus years of experience in Forex trading, commodity risk management, Forex hedging, volatility, and so much more. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with elite coverage of all major currency pairs, including the DXY, Euro Dollar, Pound Dollar, Aussie Dollar, dollar yen, dollar Swiss franc, and so much more. Teddy will recommend specific trades when the market presents them and provide updates throughout the week when warranted. For the month of July, inaugural members to the Tiger Forex Report will receive 25% off the monthly subscription for as long as they're subscribed. Just use promo code TEDDY25 to lock in the added savings. This offer is good only for the month of July, so do not miss your opportunity to save on the Tiger Forex Report. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up uh, 563. We got the NASDAQ up 162. S&Ps are up uh, 62. And uh, let's just go inside the Dow and see what's moving the market out here. Whoops, wrong one. Let's go. Here we go. Okay, so point wise, what we have, this United Health always seems to be out there, up or down. So United Health's putting us 165 positive points in, Goldman 80, American Express 36, uh, Salesforce 35. The only equity in the Dow Industrials that is in the negative is Procter & Gamble, that's uh, just, in just slightly. If we go into the uh, NDX 100, we take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. Uh, what you ha have out here today, percentage wise, we have Netflix up 7.5%. It's finally moved. That's interesting. Splunk is up 6%. Mercado Libre is up 6.5%. And Illumina is up 6%. Taken away from it, you have uh, Constellation. Uh, the Constellation Brands, that's interesting. That's down 3.6. Lucent's off 2.5. You get uh, Kraft Heinz is off uh, 1.7. And uh, bottom line is that we'll see how this uh, whole thing is going to... Uh, basically shake out coming into the close. So, um, okay, take a look. Uh, they want to look at uh, the tip market, PPLT. I got to, let's see, tips. I'm not sure if I can pull this up. I know, I'm, I just don't know what the, okay, oh, here it is. Okay, good, tips. Uh, tips. Tips, tips, tips. That's not it. That's London. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, I got it. I got the ETF. Okay, here we go. Um, now, you got to get this straight, though. Okay, yeah, so it's TIP. Okay, so this is an iShare. iShare, okay, exchange traded funds. The low is... Let me see this. Holdings. I'm just curious how this works. Okay, so these are all... Bonds. Okay. So what has happened? Oh, weird. Does this go down when inflation goes up? It doesn't make any sense. Let me see this thing. The ETF will track Bloomberg U.S. Treasury Inflation Notes Index. The index measures the performance of inflation Texas public obligations. You know, I, I'm sorry, man, I can't help you with this thing because I, I don't really, I understand what a tip is, um, but when I'm looking at this thing, this has been a straight move down, and maybe the correlation is different, but the bottom line is that what should happen is that if you're buying a tip, and this is what could happen inside, uh, you know, the ETF structures, which is not cool, is that the, they roll them. And so if you actually buy a tip off the government, those tips are higher. They're not lower. <laughs> so I don't know why that ETF is lower, you know, so I wouldn't touch it. That's, so what, that's, what is a tip? A tip is a, basically a, a treasury that's inflation protected, treasury inflation protection. So 
What ends, you know, you know, like the one I was talking about, the go to the government with the ten thousand dollar deal. Yeah. So what happens is that there are tips, and as the inflation number comes in, you get more. Um, you're covered for a certain amount of inflation. I see. So you actually start collecting more interest. Um, you know, it so it makes a difference. There's no doubt about it. Um, let's see. Uh, we got. We're talking ADUs. We're talking. Uh, Five hundred thousand for one, huh? Five, I think he lives in California, though. Yeah. It, it, what, what does happen, folks, is that we're, you know, we're still mid-priced. Yeah. You know what I mean? So at the, at what, what does happen is this. This is what's really cool about what I'm going to be doing at this particular point. Most houses in, not in most houses. I'd say three quarters of the houses. Three quarters, maybe, are over four hundred and fifty bucks right now a foot. Or half? No, I would say about half. Half, and okay. It just depends so, on the, yeah. the area. No, we know that. So so what ends up happening, I got about half the city, uh, they're quite over. I'm building, I'm trying to sell it. I'm going to sell it at 450 I haven't tried to sell one yet I'm, because what's going on is that I just like, I build them, so I just announced this thing. Yeah. <laughs> I've been working on this thing. <laughs> no, for sure. Well, yeah, your, your construction is a lot better than right. a lot of things we see out there. Right. So... Um, at 450, it's pretty cool because there's plenty of areas that you know, bottom line, they're going for six or seven hundred. So the day I finish it, you know, let's say I come up with 300, the definitive finish it is worth 450, and that's that's what I'm psyched about actually because what ends up happening, and I've already built enough of them that I know the where the quirks are, and there's not many quirks. The biggest quirk is Duke Electric. Yeah, that's the biggest quirk, meaning that you you know as you're looking at a lot. Um, you know, the bottom line is most of the time I like putting those wires underneath. So, yeah. you know, and we have, a, there's an alley set up. We have a front, back, and an alley set up in St. Petersburg, which makes it really cool. Yeah, the alley is so cool. It's, it's, city, right? it's crucial. It's, it yeah. It makes it a real city. Yeah, it does. So, no. it's one of the best parts of St. Peter's. So. No, it is. It is. And how that got established, folks, I mean, you're talking about when you go back, as the establishment, what happened is that, like all of Florida, Florida was established by the railroad, you know, titans. Yeah. So on this side, it was plant, and the other side, it was flag, flag, line. flag line. exactly. So what happened is that when they were the first people that got here, um, bottom line is that their servants would live in the back, and that's how the alleys got established because that's how crazy people were then. They didn't even want people to see them, and yeah. you know, there's you know, there's houses in Boston, right? If you've never seen one of these, and I've seen them down the Cape, that these old houses that you have the house, right? And then there's a stairway, and what the stairway is is that that used to go where the servants would live, yeah. and that they could go in and out of the house without the company seeing them. Wow. Isn't that, meaning the kitchen help. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. That's yeah. crazy. And, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty wild kind of. So they did it back then, huh? They did it. The classes. They, they did it. There's no doubt about that. The classes and spades, man. Yeah. No, you can see some of the houses down here, the way they were built. Right. Yeah. No, no, there's no doubt, man. Yeah. I mean, this was like a rich Area, yes. Right? Yeah, that's my exactly right. Right. It's right. Too hot for anybody else. Right. Right. <laughs> and now you know we talk about that. We talk about lots. So what's happening in St. Pete now, folks? Okay. So picture, you know, we're watching lot prices. Yeah. And they're getting softer because they because what happens is that every time I say the best you know, when I get a lot, that's one thing. But the risk comes as soon as you put the shovel in the ground. Yeah. Because I can have a lot, no matter what lot it is, and all of a sudden, if I'm putting the shovel in the ground, okay, well, here goes 600 grand, man. <laughs> that's, that's, here we go, man. Do you know yeah, what I mean? You know, and, and that's depending what house I'm building, but that's that's a reality. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, and, and, of course, once you start, you don't want to stop for anything. Yeah. yeah. You know goes, what I mean? Goes quick. Fast. Long. Fast yeah. and furious. Stay right there, folks. Bess and I come right back. We have the Dow right now up above 573. NASDAQ is up 163. S&P's up 60. We'll come right back.
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up uh, 585. The Nasdaq's up 162. S&Ps are up 61. Let's go take a look at the volume. Now, check this out, Bessford. This is uh, amazing. So, this is option expiration, and this is a big one. So more than one trillion dollars in notational value, meaning that if you added them all up, right, yeah. is going to expire at four o'clock. Wow! I know, I know. So what happens then? So what ends up? All oh, these trades are all going to be closed, and, and so what ends up happening? The volume expands dramatically at this close. So you can see the spy right now is doing sixty-four million, and that's saying folks, higher prices are coming at us. We're going into sixty-two, and I suspect that this uh, this end print. This thing is going to go up to 80, 80 million shares. Right now, you're at 64. We already have more than we need in order to continue to higher price. We take a look at the queues. The queues right now, right now, those are coming into 55, and you're already done 55. So they'll they'll bang in. They'll do 15 million at the close, easy. Same type of setup. Um, so we'll see how this shakes out coming into next week. Um, and uh, what this did have to do with somewhat, uh, you know, well, there's no more selling up, but what you also had out here is that, um, you know, Fed heads towards 75 basis points. You know, the market yesterday seemed to be worrying about the day before that it was going to go up a full percentage rate. You know, I think the market's getting used to that this thing's going to go up a lot more, meaning yeah. that percentage wise. Yeah, it looks like whatever they say, if they say 2%. Yeah. And then they do go up, and right. the market still goes up. 
I, well, I this is where we're going right now. I agree with what you're saying. I know, right? We're just it's saying, like, man. I only said this, and I'm like, all it, right. If the market gets used to higher rates, then watch out, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, because there's still too much money floating around. We know it. It's, yeah. it's, it was just like when we, were, when we were basically talking to Steve up in Alaska. Uh, it's hard to comprehend. Every time that I put these rents in my head, like, what kind of a job do you have that you can pay $7,000 a month rent? Yeah. I mean, and, and not buy a place. That's what. That, see, there's a there's a twisted deal here, folks, because they got to give you twenty one thousand just walking in. It's like, but I guess some people just don't want to buy a place, right? Yeah, yeah. It's not the right market. Folks, have a great weekend, safe weekend. Get some questions for Best and I have next Friday. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Thanks, man. Look at him, folks. <laughs> Building.